All right, everybody. Come. Oh, that's nice. What's that right there? <laughs>
came in a set of four, so we got an extra one if we need it, Skinner. There you go. Um, and this was on Amazon. I, I found these on Amazon. I think that the whole box was like $24. Yeah. <laughs> Cabinet hardware and light fixtures, that's my jam. I think it makes such a big difference. And the challenge that I had is that all of the plumbing fixtures in here are the shiny kind of chrome, shiny nickel color. So I didn't, I know you can mix, but I didn't want to have something matte up here so close to that fixture. We found these, it's kind of a funny story, I found them on Wayfair, but the company that actually makes them, and I'm going to have uh, Rick kind of put it in text for you guys right now because I can't remember the name, <laughs> but they are so nice. The lady called me up, they had a shortage of them, and she ended up... And you're still waiting for a couple of them. Well, but, yes. But, but, but they're, they're coming. Amazing. They're coming here in about a week or so. But I mean, just look how much it. I just think it really added some lux. It was over budget, but it sharpened up the interior of this coach and made it look way richer than it really is. I think so. I really do. Because there was a shortage. We just did knobs in this bathroom, and these, they're so beautiful. I mean, look at the artistry, and they're nice and heavy, and they're unique. Not everybody has them. So I think that kind of looks cool in our little bathroom. That way you didn't have big, big handles that was too overwhelming in the bathroom. Let's talk about bedding because we had a really awesome sleep number bed. So we didn't have to change the mattress. And I thought the headboard was really cool, especially for that little Western vibe that we were going for. The pillows that came with this were like, eh, I just, it was a little not what I wanted. So I went on Instagram, I went on Pinterest, and I was trying to find, again, something that was like a little bit of a black accent to kind of really highlight the black. Um, not that there's a lot of black in here, but I just didn't want so many of the same colors. But I didn't want blue or red or burgundy. I wanted to keep neutral tones. So I saw this picture on Instagram, and I asked the influencers to send me the links. These came from Crate and Barrel, believe it or not, these pillows. And I really like them. Now, this spread, I'm not happy about. I'm going it's to... It's beautiful, but it's just too wrinkly. It's too wrinkly. I have it. That's high-end accents. It's H-I and then E-N-D accents, which is known to do pretty decent bedding. And so I thought I would splurge a little bit and really dress my bed up nicely. But after I washed it, you can kind of see that it's, it's just... It's not really what I wanted. The other thing, too, is... Reach out to them. Black go shows... Make it right. Black shows a lot of dust and, you know, stuff, but it does make you keep it cleaned off, and our dog loves to lay on it, so there you go. But um, I did reach out to them, baby, and they have responded. I've had to send them pictures. I've had to show them pictures of the washer because they're basically telling me that I'm screwed and that I should just steam it. Well. We'll see what they say. We probably won't be buying any more stuff. Yeah, that's true. Now, here's another little thing I found, just a little touch. I love hummingbirds. Mike didn't like this at first, but do you like it now, baby? I love the hummingbird in the bedroom. <laughs> of course, Clyde has to have his own bed. We went through, We went with the Ralph Lauren to spoil our little man. Of course, it had to be matching with our bedding. That kick-ass mirror came with the bus. They put those in the Integras, which I think is really cool. It's a neat feature. In the bathroom, we also changed the handles to these gorgeous... Aren't these pretty? I love these. Don't you, honey? Absolutely. And then I found at Home Goods some of these cool little decorative accents. These travel really nicely. I kind of store them up in this upper cabinet when we're traveling. And then I also found, oh, I forgot. That's the dryer, by the way. The dryer works. Okay, so these I also found on Etsy. I love that antelope look. So I either put them there, sometimes I put them in the movie chairs over there, but I kind of like the way they look on these little dinette chairs. Some more fun little goodies I found at Home Goods. And light, you know, straw. These are metal. Very light, so it won't break. You got to think about all that kind of stuff when you're traveling, obviously. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> uh, yeah, Thank okay. you for my Integra. I love it. I do too. I really like this coat. Thank you.